Nice, Rena. Hey, <laughs> hey, <babe. laughs> look at that. Oh, oh I'm a... are you looking for lovely homes too? Of all the horses she'd ever transported, she'd never had one weave so bad all the way home from Scotland. So wow, okay. Anyway. Right. Oh, I didn't want a huge horse and, and you bought I one. <laughs> Lucy has been booked at the last minute they didn't want him. Oh no. So his friends have got homes and he hasn't. Oh no. Little Rob. So anyway, uh, it's uh, quite early. We have to do a very interesting job today hope we can make a difference it's at many tears rescue we have been before and i'll explain about that in a little while uh that's my new school um we're almost ready for the topping i've been working hard on that for a couple of days and that's gonna be a handy um handy little school you know walk trots and maybe a little collected canter in there but i can do an awful lot in there and it's so close to the stables just Tack up and in we go. So I'll uh, help Nita as usual. She's first. All right, that's the feeds in the stables ready. Darcy's has gone under that there. I was supposed to lower that. He's gone under it. And now he's got to figure out, oh, he'll, he will go. If he went under it to go in there, if he thinks these now are going to be fed, he'll go back under it. Come on, Nita. There you go. Oh, see, we're not leaving you. Right. Come on, Das. Tanya's car won't start. That's the one we're taking. Uh, if need be, I'll take my truck, but it's a bit more economical, this one. Got your new woolly bobble hat on? Do you need it today? <laughs> this morning, what is it now? It's uh, minus one now. We can't, morning, we can't even clean the windscreen because no, no, it's all frozen. It's all but it's absolutely well, it was minus, minus beautiful six day. Morning. Yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't it? it was minus six this morning. I know a lot of our friends abroad will think that's nothing because they have like I know some parts of Montana where it's down to about minus twenty or whatever. But for us, it was quite a kick this morning. I'm a bit excited this morning. Why are you excited? Do I ask? Yeah. Do you know why? You're excited because we've confirmed a date. Oh yes, we've just re just come back from the demo in Droitwich, Droitwich which just was recovered amazing. from it. Yeah, best one yet, I think that was. Best uh, one yet. That's, um, fantastic demo. We've just managed to confirm a date now for... 18th of February. 18th of February at... Barley Lands Equestrian Centre, Billericay. Billericay. In Basildon. Is that Essex way? Right? Essex. Essex. So, yeah, that's all uh, booked and I've confirmed. Just booked, I've just booked my hotel few mile away in the premiere in for all of us yeah there's a gang of us <laughs> so that's know. done but now today today we're on our way to gorgeous a, day. A, a rescue center called many tears look at that sky called many tears rescue center it's not that far from where we live um it's probably an hour if that from from where we live so we're going out there to see a, apparently a beautiful Beautiful Palomino section D uh, section D cob Palomino beautiful that's got that's been rescued now. Why would a beautiful horse like this? I'll show a picture of it now. Why would why would that horse be at a rescue centre? So it needs to be something quite serious. Sorry, just had to take that call. That was the guy from Barley Lands confirming everything's okay. Awesome. Towards. So we go in uh, again with any rescue centres. Obviously, there's no charge, guys. We try our best to help. It's a genuine rescue centre. We'll see how we get on today. It might mean more than one visit. We'll see. 
Can we pop uh, for a little meal after? Yeah, we'll go for a little meal after. I know, uh, I know, I know we do get uh, a lot of people saying, oh, just get on with the horse. We don't like to see all this, but we. But there's a lot of people that love to see yeah, our, well, where we we're going. Up with it this time. And we like to explain where we're going and what's the yeah. problem on the way. <laughs> I just put the wipers on and he got so... He was trying to clean Is the wipers. deliberate? No, I promise, promise it wasn't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be a block of ice now. Sorry, uh, no, it I'm was... soaking. I'll be like dumb and dumber. Do you remember when I got off that? Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Off the moped. How cute is that? That is like. What's that? Look at that oh, little. Yeah. It's like like little cottages in the holiday. Wow. That was my favourite film, Holiday. That is nice, isn't it? Mm. That is quite a few hundred years old. Here we are. Oh, look, that's what the wolf's about. <gasps> the wolf. See the wolf? Yeah. Oh, the bins. I remember when we pulled up in South Carolina once, bins yeah. like that. What was in it? Raccoons. Raccoons. We watched them for ages. Oh, this is a rubbish parking spot, isn't it? Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> Come on, then. Oh, dear. Got all your bits? Yeah, got all everything you... I need. We're training the horse right there, other than the saddle, obviously. <laughs> Right, let's walk along the road. Can't do it that way, that's the, uh, the entrance. The wolf. Yeah. Many tears rescue. I, a bird, yeah. I don't know, it's got a baby. Please ring for attention. The bell. <laughs> Hello, Sylvia. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Lovely sunny day. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. When she came to us, she was very, very um, very, very frightened and very, very upset and weaved worse than I'd ever seen anything weave. Right. Um, and the guy, the woman who was paid to bring her down, said of all the horses she'd ever transported, she'd never had one weave so bad all the way home from Scotland. So wow, okay. Anyway, uh, so we had her in one of these and she just weaved and weaved and what? it was horrible. Just, just, just standing there, oh, yeah. Oh and she was so upset and we did a video and she weaved, but also crossed her legs. She weaved so bad, you know, it was oh. uh, And then we put her out and she was a lot happier. And then we noticed that when she got distressed for anything, she'd start weaving. So we tried to put her in a situation that wouldn't distress her yeah. all the time. Just work with her. Yeah. Um, yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, hi. Oh, hi. Hi. She wrote to you. Oh, yeah, uh, hi. Okay. You. She's been to one of your oh, right. houses. Oh, Okay. Um, uh. so, um, so she's been working. So we, she was very, very worried about the bit. We had a lot of trouble bitting her. Uh, did it very slowly and she's a lot better with the bit now. But there was one point where bitting her was like a 15 minute thing to do it. Yeah, <laughs> and things then, are um, usually symptoms of causes, so something's yeah. happened, doesn't it? Yeah. You get out the wrong thing and then she's terrified. And she doesn't always run the right way from what's worrying her, so no. it's not always. Yeah. Um, so she comes into pressure a little bit. Yeah, she can do. So oh, okay. She's, She's so, a lot better with people. Obviously, and, if yeah. you put her in a tub, she will be like, okay, move on my way, on my head. Yeah. She's a very dominant pushy man. So really, I, I come to evaluate then, I'm yeah. not, and see what I think, okay? Yeah. That's, and see that what one? sort of home you think that might work uh, for her, because yeah. it's got to be someone who knows... How old is she? Uh, six. She's a baby. Good really. age, really. Oh, yeah. Oh, Reno. So here's Reno. There's Reno. The famous Reno yeah. now. Yeah. So guys, this is a picture from about a year ago when I went, I was asked to go and help um, the rescue centre, Many Tears, who had just imported this beautiful horse called Reno. It was imported from Spain. There is a video on it. So if you want to check out this video, it's a great video and it explains everything within the video. Uh, that's the video there, guys. One hour 42, lots in that video. It's a great video. Now... Reno uh, ha had some issues, uh, was being difficult riding, I was worried about a lot of things, would rear. There was lots of things going on which couldn't be understood. So I, I went and did a visit 
and I spent a day there and got uh, Reno over a lot of anxiety issues, helped with certain riding issues for Sylvia to use when Reno was being difficult to try and keep her more safe, really. Um, and things seemed to improve, but uh, we were informed by somebody else through our channel that Reno had been vetted in Spain by some other um, buyer that was going to buy Reno and there was a horrid, horrid um, vetting done of him where there was discoveries made that uh, you'd have to watch the video to see but he was physically in terrible shape. Although we informed the rescue centre of this vetting that was done and sent it on uh, to many tiers, many tiers have worked tirelessly with several vets to um, and I think the bill's up to about £20,000 now, to try and keep Reno going, keep him alive. He's only young. Um, and what I'll do now, I won't say too much more about him other than what you'll see in a second, but I'm going to show you the very start of the video and it kind of put you up to speed about Reno. So we'll just watch this only about a minute, uh, the starting bit of the, the other Bad video. Thing happened here and I was at a very big low. Just hold... And relax and think of those feet stopping. Right. Now you see where this comes, he gets worried. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a real wolf. Hello, Faithless. <laughs> <Hello, laughs> <Hello, Hello, laughs> so you hold, don't look at him. And just right. Can you just, well, you've just witnessed something yeah, there. So yeah, I didn't want uh, Grace. Yeah, and, and you've got a ball to And, yeah. and I didn't want a huge horse. And, and you bought I one. I didn't want something <laughs> spooky. And you got one. And you got all three. You got everything. Uh, it's the rescue. Yeah. Take a room, take a room, take a room. Yeah, he's grown more. Hello, boy. So he's... Oh. Boxer are about the same size. Once it's nothing like it was. No, oh, he's, he's been in the wars, hasn't he, with this? Oh God, it's been awful. He's um, been back. He's been operated on again since you saw him. Uh, yeah. And then he's had rest. Then he's had everything you can think of. People from your site have been amazing. They've grown really? oh. up with all these ideas, oh. and there are, there are healers on your site, oh. and they've been sending amazing, healing. absolutely and, amazing. Um, everything we've had. Native we've had American healers, healers turn up at our door. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Had, Lovely we, people. We, we, we've had that. And uh, anyway, as well as um, herbalists, we've done herbs. We've yeah. done. Um, everything you can think of, really. Uh, and lots of prayers for him as well, there's been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, bless him. So he's at the stage where really the vets would like him to live out and come in at night. Um, so he's wandering around a dry field. We live in Wales. Yeah, yeah. very so wet. that is not something we can do for him now. Um, so he really needs the special home that knows that he might come right. Or he oh, might yeah. not, but if yeah. he doesn't, he's still a happy horse. Uh, he's a great big baby horse. Oh. A gentle giant he is. He is, isn't he's, and he's beautiful. So, so he's handsome, available for say. someone to contact you yeah. about taking him on. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, definitely. And they can have all my vets. We've spent, I don't know, well, yeah, tens a lot of money. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but wow. um, they can, you can have all the vets' history and everything. Uh, I'm going to do a close up of him, no Tanya, reason. then. He shouldn't come right, but, yeah. but unfortunately, um, we, we're not God, so we so don't God, know. So, yeah. guys, Sylvia's done everything she can. Yeah. And this is Reno. With, 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 with everything working in Reno's favour, he should come right. Let's just hope he comes right. He'd be a fantastic riding horse for someone in the future, hopefully. But, but if not, then he's. Like Sylvia said, oh, he's, he's a, a happy horse. And he's beautiful. And a gentle giant. So if anyone's interested in oh. maybe helping Reno. And giving him a lovely uh, home. Then contact you directly. Is it all just uh, yeah. email here? Oh. Or? Yeah, contact us. And, then and, yeah, and, Sylvia, and Sylvia said, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's not the UK. That's not a problem. Yeah. Okay. We, we'll home vet. We'll home vet them. Anywhere, um, oh, okay. Yeah. Any, anywhere then. Yeah. yeah. But we can't pay for the transport. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, guys. Well, that's... On all the weights and... I mean, he is a, Let's have a look at him. Yeah, have a look at him because 
He really is splendid now. The girls have done an amazing job. They've done everything. They put all sorts of things, of lotions and potions on his legs. He's done everything. <laughs> he's, would you say he's been the most pumped of all? Sure. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. yes, there's a difference. There's a difference. Wow, look at that. Well, that is a serious sauce. Look Isn't at it? you. Can, oh, it's got a little scratch. I love it when they do that. A little scratch. you got a scratch. <laughs> Maybe we'll help you, hey? Guys, oh, if, oh. if anyone rescues him, right back, as they say. And then, if you do get to ride them in the future, you're going to have to do a bit of siding up here. Because I don't think there's a... Oh, that's oh, nice, Rena. Hey, mate, look at that. Oh, oh have a nuzzle. The other thing is, is he would really like a friend to be with, but well, yes. not, not a mare. Because oh, yeah. Because he's gelded late. late. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think he'd be okay with a big horse. Oh, he'd like it. He'd just need to meet them slowly. He wants to <laughs> muzzle you. He loves to have a scrap. Oh, nice. He never horses this all day. <laughs> 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 Right. Yeah, awesome then. Well, well, guys, yeah. that's the update on Reno. Yeah. Let's just hope it all works out for him, and I'm sure it will. Yeah, we hope so, too. Yeah. It'll be sad letting him go, but we want to do oh, yeah. what's best, best for him. Best for him, yeah. I mean, I remember him being hot, didn't I? Yeah, he was. He was really thin. Yeah. Very pretty. So, I know, that makes it harder because people want to, because she's pretty, and they need to oh. be yeah. because they want to help her. <laughs> yeah. So oh, guys, sad. this this um, beautiful. And what's her name? Fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. She's fiery She's fire. She's on fire. Um, so this again, guys, will be available, hopefully, for um, what do you call it? adoption. Is that what yes. you, you would call well, it? Adoption. What they do is they take the horse on, but they can never sell it. It has to come back to us oh, unless, right. oh, so unless oh, right. they've can got be... a unless they've got a. Not one a neighbour or somebody that we can approve of. We yeah. want to know where yeah. she is. Yeah. 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 Her life is yeah. is all we're asking. Okay. So it is um, their horse. They they don't have to say we're going to a show or we're moving her yeah. here or do that. Okay. But if they decide but, to let so her go, six year old, a six year old, you, you know, it makes you beg the question: How such a lovely horse like this? In today's market, at least, would end up here. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, uh, It'd be so easy to sell her dishonestly, but we don't sell no, any of no, our horses, no, so no, that's no. not what we do okay. because I don't believe in it. <laughs> that's it. They're not a commodity. To no, them. I think yeah. the best thing I can do then is do a little bit of groundwork, yes. just assess what I think. Um, you know, yeah. did you want me to see the horse ridden? Did you want to ride the horse? Have you been riding it lately? Yes. Um, yeah. You know, maybe I could watch right. Right, the way you're riding it, maybe give you a couple of clues okay. on that, if you yeah, think. So we'll do a bit of groundwork. Yeah. Do you want Do you want me to watch? Uh, uh, the best thing I can do is watch you. Do you know how to put those on? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Some people don't know. And yeah. uh, I'll tell you what happened the other day. Bless, bless the owner. We were in the middle of a demo, yeah. a lot of people there, and I'd got a halter that I'd just worked a horse, and then I gave this, this lovely person, I've got to get my, my words right here. I said, come bring your horse in now, put, put the, can you do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the horse came in with the whole turn in front of 250 people. And uh, this horse, this particular horse, has got a few issues with barging and pulling away and everything. So I just go to start, <laughs> and then I'm <laughs> left with a halter oh, no. in an <laughs> arena. It hadn't long got into arena, so it's still up with all the atmosphere. The horse was loose, galloping around in this arena. And everyone was watching her.
Oh no. But we got there, we got the horse courses, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked you. <laughs> yes, no okay, so not too bad. Right, can I just say something about the halter? Very quickly, okay. I knew it. <laughs> you did know it. Right. Okay. Um, right. So, um, okay. So while, I, while, while, while I'm here now, because I want to show Tanya that, okay. I'm not going to waste this second now. I'm going to look at this foot here. Yeah. I'm going to send a foot with pressure here and relax. Okay. Do you see that? So yeah. try not to waste anything. It's like we train without realising it. Yeah. Okay, so, so I got you. can you see that? Where it's above? See where it's above? You see how you brought that above? Mm -hmm. Right, just watch this okay. a minute. Yeah, because what can happen is they can tighten too much. So you go round and back through. Oh, okay. You see that? So it's not above there. Can I show you again? Yeah. Because then I'm going to ask you to do it. This is yes. handy because a lot of people ask this as yeah. well. So. Can you see that? Time? So yeah. it goes through the loop, look. Through the loop. Through and back through where the loop is. Not above here. Okay. Got it. Do, do you think you have? Because a lot of people so. say that. They haven't. So. No, you've got now, to do while it. I'm here, I'm going to just see whether I can just get a little tip. Do you see me get a little tip towards? So, okay. Try that. A nice size as well. I think she's oh, a lovely she's size. Isn't she? yeah, Strong, lovely for the right easy person. to get on and off. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the pictures of her in Western? She looks no, very, very pretty. Right. Yeah. I, I'll. Um, I've got them. You said. Them. You said. You said yeah, to me. Oh yeah, I've got them. them on. Yeah, I'm right. Sorry. So you've. So I think she did you've done that. that. Yes. Took that underneath the chin a little bit before. Yeah. Underneath. Yes. Now watch this, Tanya. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So up, round, and back through. What a good girl. Now, now I've done that, you'll never forget that. Now. No. It'll always <laughs> be on your... sits on camera. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you'll never there. forget that. Now, I'll just um, re just pull that up on her chin a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Right, that's like that. That's, you've got it, man. You've actually got it right. Okay, well, what I'm seeing so far is quite nice, yes. to be honest. She's not pinned her ears at you. She seems very pleasant. Um, she is, she just sees fairies where there aren't any. She, yeah. She's, you know, suddenly yeah. spooks and... Well, you know, that is all, <laughs> you know, some no, are a little so, bit more, yeah. but... Yeah. Um, don't quite please, can, can you lower her head? Have you practised that? Oh, Ooh. Yes. Look, lovely. That's good. Look at that. That's all <laughs> your, yeah, that's what she did every time she got to... Upset. Up, yeah. That's what and she, she's... And you found that out? Brilliant. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, we... She was very scared of walking over the platform and I started, but so awesome. I got her used to it by just lowering her awesome. head and then Brilliant. I just walked her. Awesome. It's really, really good. She was a little bit jumpy there when you moved. Is that the kind of thing she does? Uh, yeah. It's um, a matter of accident. <laughs> I, I, I did it in the, sh the other day, accidentally. But she is she good on the other eye? Um, if you well, went round the other side? Everything I've done, I've done both sides. Both sides, so, and you yeah. haven't noticed much of a difference? Not too much. Wow. Brilliant. She looks like Rolex, a quarter or so. <laughs> and there's Rolex. Can you see the lightness, guys? Um, he was a lovely Palomino core horse. Uh, he's down in Devon now. Um, it was a lovely life down there. But, you know, I could see the similarity. Yeah. She's there gorgeous. we are, you can have another. <laughs> eh? oh, oh god no we go we go into belgium belgium on sunday right. no, not, not this, this sunday sunday, sunday. sunday um it's very difficult to find what i want to take over from nita because all of these horses i have they're kind of gifted and all i do is like you really i think i'm a little bit like yourself i get them to where they're gonna have a life yeah and then, but they're, they're never really what I want to take over from Nita uh, for my thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, so I've been looking for one, maybe two, because if I get two, I can choose one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now I might have to break the bank to do that, but eventually I would sell one on. Mm -hmm. To find an unstarted one at about three or four, ready for me to start um, and break, start, mm -hmm. is it virtually impossible without yeah. you know, going to the States? which I'm considering doing, but we found a place in Belgium. They've got 50. They've not been well and things have gone on a little bit and 
they got admittedly the the there's only one guild and the re, the rest are mares and stallions but they're only three yes. three ish but they can be held if you want to get yes, them back sure. so i'm going to be going there um there's three palominos i'm interested in And that's just some of the choices I've got, guys. Really excited. With the right breeding and they're unstarted. So for me, it's exciting. So I said, we'll come over straight away. Sure. So we're going to go and who knows, I might buy two and get them Or back. one and take this one off. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be it's very good because um, it's, if you put it next to a Reno, it's a quarter of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, right. I'm going to watch you again. Yeah. Yeah. She would jump maybe this far. Right, we need just, to simulate that. Yeah, in a just, then. just something she right. doesn't think is going to happen. Can, can, right. You keep walking around, then I'll go outside. Yes, yeah. We're going to see, see the kind of thing now. Have you? Can I ask if you have the eyes checked? Sorry. Have you ever checked her eyes? No. I never has. No. no. Did he look into the eyes? Because sometimes I've been to a few horses in the last year. Some very, very squeaky ones and things at distance. They can be short or long sighted, as you yes. know. Sometimes it's impaired vision. And if the horse has been beat around the head, which you don't know, mm -hmm. it may. Uh, um, but it's something worth, you know. Um, so, if I... Little blink, yeah. but not quite as. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. This is only the first stage that you'd ever check this. Sure. Um, That's fine. But like, it's something, sometimes yeah. impaired vision can cause real jumpiness because they can't quite make out what it is. I'm just going to say as well, I'm just going to explain I know there's a lot of barking going on, guys. This is a very big, lovely rescue centre. Yeah, so own hospital as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see. Typical example. Mm. And that's that's the problem, not knowing yeah. what you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. That's just the way she is. Yeah, I mean, I was just going to say that, that, <laughs> yeah. that some horses are a little I mean, bit. She's frightened. <laughs> yeah, she'll be frightened of a bag. Yeah, she might be frightened of a bag. She probably know. will be, yeah. because I would have said she's probably been whacked on in the past. Oh yeah. This is definite, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You, you do know this. We won't mention any. Um, okay, let me see if I can get her to move around me a little bit. Um, and, uh, okay. Just watch yourself there, guys. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. I kind of expect her to come in on me a bit more than she did then, really. That wasn't too bad. Licked and chewed. Can you go again? But Nat, Nat, Nat has been working with her a lot. And... Yeah, definitely. Okay, that's okay. We'll try it out of this side. We can go without the flag. Now, this eye a little bit different. I'm not saying it's because of the eye. But this eye, would you accept a little bit different? 
Head up, ball. Are you noticing a slight change? Got to work through this a little bit. Now, she has the power to get rid of the flag when she goes. So eventually, I'd want to get a real tidy with the flag, but in one session, a horse like this, you don't go too far. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. You get them used, you've never used the flag? I've used it before. You, you have yeah, used it? Yeah, I have one of these, yeah. And how is she with you with that? I don't, I don't use it on fire, it's a different horse. Yeah, okay. Well, I think with this spooking thing, we get her used to flapping yeah. flags. That's the first thing, okay? So I get her really used to it so that I can... But I'll just work on this for two minutes. I want her to go without me having to use the flag. Yeah? So you see I'm asking first? Okay? So, can you go without the flag? Nearly. I'm going to keep going this till she goes with... It's the way the horse leaves that's really important. Um, so there's the hind end. Stop a minute. Tell her how good she is. She's keeping back nicely. She's not in me now, is she? So maybe just sort of keep your distance a little bit until you go into their space. Okay? Because we want to get her used to being a little bit further back so when she does spook... She didn't spook into you then, but it could happen. So I'd keep her a little bit distance to give her room to move. Right, we'll ask her again. Can you go without the flag? No. And this is something you could work on one session with. Get her so that, can you go forward? So I'm looking at her feet, I'm not, it would have always been, not with you so much, because you came on a ranch today, but most people would be, it would be all about her. Back up a little bit. Right. You see what eye she put me in? Did you notice then? She went back and she puts me in this eye constantly. So it's so it's so common. Right. Okay. Can you go without the flag? Yes. Now because she went, there's someone in it for her now. Didn't need the flag then. Tell her how good she is. Okay. You see when I touch her, she drops her head. She's never sure whether she's in trouble or not, is she? No. It's sad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sad. Now that was nice because that's the first time she's looked away from me. I'm not the concern I was. Yeah, you look, you only got to touch it. Oh, thank God for that, she says. Thank God for that. <laughs> right, so I'll ask it again. Can you go? Yeah. So I would build on that. Uh, can you go this way? See, this way is much better. Flag, flag. Gone. So she has the power to get rid of the flag. Go back up. Got that eye. Very good. Right. Now, this is where it might get a bit west then. Because she would have been whacked with sticks. I'm kind of sure of that. But now she's got a kind of know that when I flap this, when I'm not looking at her, should not mean anything to her. At first, a lot of horses go completely crazy about it. She hasn't, which is good. You've... So she's got to know that that flag doesn't affect her, and I would walk all the way round. So uh, my hand's in neutral. See where my hand is? Now she would neutral. have before you done Meaning that. I'm not she asking anything. Oh, God, she was huh? terrified of the whip before. What's that? She was terrified of whips and everything so? like that before. Yeah, she was when she came. You couldn't do anything with the whip at all. You've um, done really well. Yeah, she yeah. has done very well. Yeah. When you get bored here, you might be giving us a ring. Yeah. <laughs> and she has done very uh, well. Right. Yeah. So again, I'm neutral. See where my hand is? No, it's not about her. Now I would like to think that after a couple of weeks, maybe maybe a month, say, I could do this above her head. If I'm not looking at it, it doesn't affect her. Unless now, now it does. See the difference? They, they work out. They work, they would set, called separating it out. Stop, back up. 
Good. Good. Okay. So. Stop. Can you go for me? Can you go? No. So again, I would really, really, really concentrate on this. So I didn't have to use the flag. See, I'm not neutral now, am I? Back up to... Now I'm neutral again. Nothing about the horse. With some horses, you'll do it with some of those and it'll go crazy with it. So you've got to kind of try and ignore them. Because it doesn't involve them. Now it does. This is the difference. Better than you thought with that, Sylvia? Yeah, look, look, look. she right, was I'm so gonna, bad. I'm going to lead and drive now. You've seen me do that. Have you tried leading and driving? You have done that. Do you want me to watch you? <laughs> Are you sure? No, go on. No, no, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. A little bit close on me there. So I'm just going to say, come on. Thank you. Love, I love you to bits, but you're on me a bit. Not being cruel. It's, it's, it's for them to feel more confident in you so that eventually we'll be all they need we take care of things they don't have to worry so much this would be interesting oh an old mini that's an old mini is that local I seen did you see that then that no. was they're worth a lot of money um okay she doesn't mind the cars and things no it's by. just people it's other well, things you, um, well, even... you are a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, so are you. I know. What, with that hat on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you lovely thing. I know when well, she moves on, she'll be really I, upset. I think so. It's going to be hard And then I had, I had a foot forward so towards me, and I'm going to be yeah. real gentle, but I don't want to hear, because with the new owners, whoever yeah. adopts, they're gonna to have to be made aware. Just, just have a little bit of space because when she does tuck tail, we call it. You had a tuck tail, yeah. 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 Tuck tail and go. And you know, you know, it's. You know, did I mention about the horse and human brain when you were down with me? And did have you oh. ever mentioned it, to Sylvia? No. It's peer reviewed. It's, it's. Um, was that a creep towards me? A little bit. Every time that horse creeps, it's great because we can look at the feet and just. Every time we look at these feet and get a reaction, those horses start to realise it's not about the whole horse, it's about what the feet do. That's all you ride, isn't it? Right, but um, those tuck tails, it's very hard to understand it, but if I put the toffee amel on, on your knee, if you crossed it, and it does this, doesn't it? Yeah. You, yeah? Yeah. It's an innate reaction. Reflex. It's a reflex, innate reaction. You can't stop it. If you put, if you if was talking to someone and you put your hand on a red hot poker or a, a ring, you, you're, it wasn't your brain that told you to do that. It was your- Reflex. Reflex. It's a heavy spook from a horse, which is life threatening. They have no, they have an innate reaction. That split second, if they thought about it, they're dead because it's that split second of moving, of, of, this is brilliant. Every step, I'd sit here for an hour and do that and it would really have a meaning. Yeah. Right. So what the, 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 what's they've done with these dissections of the brains, studying, obviously we know a lot about fight or flight and they have to, they have to be ready because they are eating, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Now, we have 33% of our brain at the front, called the fr frontal, cortex there that is what your eyes see it goes to the visual cortex and then it shoots to this frontal cortex that is what we evaluate everything and decide what we're going to move because from this goes to the motor function yeah. so i've just looked at you now and thought, thought something and said ah, that kind of thing we'll think whether we're going to go over a cliff we'll think oh, hang on we'll think about it before we do it. So that's 33% of our brain, which is what we think before we move, because of, the, of what would come from the movement. Monkeys, how many do you think monkeys got? Do you remember? 20%, right? So monkeys think before they do something, right? Dogs and cats, 
this should interest you. How much thinking do you think they do before they move or bite or? 5%. It's really? a bit lower than yeah. I thought. Yeah, just me. Horses do not have 1% of it. Oh, really? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> it is not there. So basically, when the horse sees, so whatever, whatever she saw there, it's probably a memory of something, or it's there, it's high on her agenda to be cautious. Some are like that in the middle of herds. When you've got herds, you've got ones in the middle, they're the bright ones. The ones on the outside who keep, they're, they're the ones to buy. Mm -hmm. But she, she would have saw that, that picture or shadow or whatever was there, right? Meant danger to her. So the danger of it meant she, she couldn't control that keeps them alive. That spook there, so she turned and looked, yes. so she could get a, because with one eye, she can't get a distance. You can't get distance with one eye. So when you get a horse, look at something, it kind of gets its distance then to how far it was away. Was it really close? Was it over there? Does that make sense to you? So when a horse spooks and smashes through something to get away, it had no control over it. The only way that gets better is that picture that comes from the light, the visual, that picture has to be there so often and the horse has to survive that picture so often that it becomes desensitization. That's all it is. So if you walked, if I said, right, a week now, an hour a day, I want you all to keep going past there. Yeah. You know, it's, it's loads of it, isn't it? Yes, yeah, sure. But like I say, with her, her I don't know, it might be a visual thing. Just have her eyes checked, just yeah, to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, so does that make sense so far? So um, I'll try and do a little bit of leading to driving. It's a great exercise, gives them real confidence in the handler because of that, have you ever seen this done? Yeah, I think so, I did. Yeah. yeah, it's where you lead them and then you change it in each eye yeah, now. I think you did it with Rena. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I might need that, I don't know, right. So, it's very nice to lead. <laughs> so, I'm going to do it on the eyes she's comfortable with, obviously, first. So, here I'm leading. Now, I want to take this face here. Right, so now, I'm driving right there. There, it's quite straight. Now, I'm going to change it to leading again. So, now she's following. Leading is following. Which is what they do in the herds, they'll follow the lead mare or stallion or whatever. But also they are pushed, so the space. I'm going to use my flag in a minute. So you get to a point where that's just right there. Then change it then to leading. And I, again, I do an hour of this, you know what I do? So that it's just a case of leading and then my arm goes and I look at the space. This might be a little bit wet. Right, so I'm gonna ask, I want that space there, there. This horse is great. <laughs> You've done lots, haven't you? Now, it'll be interesting in the other eye, the flag in a little while, won't it? Do you think there'll be a difference? Better or less? So, now, drive. Leave. I do this in fields, I do it all over. Especially nervous, all it's been really nice. Okay. Drive. Now, did you see that straight away then? That was a drive straight away. And look at the distance. I've got a nice distance there, haven't I? Mm -hmm. This is making a lot of sense. Yeah. I, think, I think you know a lot of this anyway. But, uh, right. So, now the eye that. Now, am I right in saying, when that spook happened, you were going that way, weren't you? Mm -hmm. So which eye did she see? The other eye. 
when you turn around, it wasn't as bad, was it? You were controlling. So we're kind of deducing that probably most of the spooks are coming from that, whatever it is, that side. I think it's worth you knowing that to, to, to kind of be aware of that. Could it be that in all her other homes they've done all their work from one side? That's absolutely right, yes, but sometimes when it's a spook from a distance like that, it can be other things. Yeah, sure. We, we you know, look at that. Right, a creep of a foot there. You see how she's backing up lovely now, isn't she? Yeah. Um, okay, so we'll try this eye now. So, so leader. I'm going to come around here. The right, so she relaxes and drive nice. Right. There. We don't want them just circling, we want them driving them somewhere. I used to make the mistake of releasing for the circle, but I won't now pull them straight now for a little. They're leading. Oh. That was immediate. Really good. Better than you thought? Sorry, really. Now I'll try without the flag. There. Leading. Driving. Oh, lovely. Now watch me step my foot back. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> See, she can have good stop. Hey, she'll be sliding. <laughs> A lot better than I thought. You've done really well. So I'm, I'm feeling that. How about the riding side of it? What's that like? Um, Pretty good. She can be really stubborn. In here? Yeah, in here. You, really. Are you able to flex? Are you able to disengage the hindquarters? Uh, no he disengaging. Move off the leg. That's all well. We have done quite a bit on the ground, just trying to get her to move over. And um, but she is not very responsive <laughs> because I know if I can get it on the ground, I can get it up there. Mm. But um, okay. Well, this is really good. So I think. Do you want to get the saddle? Do, yeah. do you fancy doing that? Did you want us to watch you with the leading to driving first? I'll cut it out if you don't look good. Well, you'll never, you'll never <laughs> get, get better yeah. unless you... Do you want to use that or...? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's really interesting when pe people say, it's really, in it's all right me doing it, but it's interesting to see other people... I know it is, it's yeah. much harder doing it than it watching yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Observe, remember and compare, that's what horsemanship is. I yeah. went and I watched lots for years. Yeah. I don't know, 80 trips to America and all our money went on it, but uh, I'm not fanatical as I was now. I was fanatical, I was obsessed, so I did a lot of, a lot of observing, yeah. remembering. It's easier to remember, I think, these days, because you've got the internet, you've got... Yeah, we didn't. We had pen and yeah. paper, and so we used to write everything down and try and remember. Um, but it's the comparing which really has helped me, because I've done thousands of horses. Yeah. It's only when you've done. That's what completes it, the comparing. I never understood what that meant, really. Yeah. But it's comparing all the different things you know with so many horses and you become the horseman then. Yeah. And that's where a lot of people, they might work two or three horses over the course of 15 years. I know. It's not been enough comparing. Yeah. So you were in a good spot to compare, keep comparing. I used to go and help people for, for nothing for years to be yeah. able to, yeah. you know. Yeah. I remember um, Ray Hunt saying to me years ago, just go and do it for the best advice because a lot of people were saying there's not much work, you know. Forget the work side of it. Just live out your car. Go and work also for free. That's what puts you. Yeah. And it made a lot of sense, you know. Um, but you've got to be paid. <laughs> right. <He> does. Okay. <laughs> right. No, I won't put it in. If not, there's no pressure on you. Okay. Be Remember the smile. creep. Now look what's happened. Yeah. You just. That's it. Good. Do you see what I mean? 
So, so what you represented then to her wasn't as the relationship that I've started to build because I've been particular yeah. about that. So be a bit particular, but smile and look at, because most people would look to her head in the past. I'm back to her. So yeah, be aware. So, so that happened and I had to tell you, so try and, yeah. All right, let's, uh, we'll stand back a bit. This is quite hard to get right. It took me years to get this lead into driving. Good. Look out in front of her. Once you've got it going, because you want it to go forward, 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 right there. That's it. And then that's good. And then a little walk out. And then you'll go right round. Which way are you going to go? That way. No. But when you go, when you go round, you'll you'll look behind. The, okay. Yeah. Look right. Take the space behind. You're in the wrong hand. You've got to have the other hand. Yeah. And then you'll turn. Right. That's it. Then you'll come around here when you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'll come around and take the space behind. That's it. Now you're driving. And then out of it. Just walk out. Walk out now, yeah, and that's leading. It's very difficult to do. Yeah. And I'll, I throw an energy in there. It's like a weird energy I throw behind them. That's good. That's good. good. And that was on the eye that she's not, yeah. Okay, before we ride then, before we ride now, that's good. <laughs> that was better than earlier. Yeah, already. Well done. But you wait for that foot. When that foot comes back, great, because then you'll look at it and send it back. Um, you've really got to keep looking with a horse like this. Make sure because of the abuse it's received that no longer is it about our relationship now is just both riding and. Any questions? She's lovely, isn't she? Mm -hmm. hey, who wouldn't want her? Me. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. Be aware of her feet she comes forward. Right, just before we ride then, we'll have another. Well, I haven't seen zilch. one, yeah. mm. I think, yeah. in the right home. Now, of course, whoever, she might not settle easy at different homes. Yes. So wherever she goes, there might be a period of anxiousness again. Yeah. Because mm. lo and behold, she realises She's loved here and she's helped here and everything can get better here. Maybe there's some life without fear. Then she suddenly goes somewhere else. So there is going to be a period, isn't there? And that's obviously why you've got to vet people and get the right people, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, it'd be nice to see if she spooks as much out of that eye this time. So we won't circle. You were going that way. Yeah. So we'll go that way now. In fact, I'll do it. Yeah. Well, if you first get this dustbin bag out and shake yeah. it, I think that would make yeah. her spook in here. What's that? Would you want that? Or only first Sylvia. Dustbin. She doesn't like the bag. Shake it, I think it would make her spook in here. The, shake, the bag now? Yeah. Do you want me to try? Yeah. Well, right at the end. Um, uh, what can help horses is following something that they don't like. Yeah. I don't particularly like doing it too much because I don't like horses to feel like they can follow me with looking at them. That's as if they're pushing me. But uh, yeah, let's let's see. Uh, I'm surprised she's even doing that. To really? Be honest. Yeah. What? What'd you say? I'm surprised she's even doing that in here um, because I know that somebody carrying a dustbin bag the other day just to take it down to the rubbish. That that was enough. That's for... funny though because I made a walk over it once and she was fine but then she was just out of nowhere reacting to it being just yeah uh, is this better than it was yes so yes. so i would say already getting a bit of leadership leading to driving i'm particular about those feet and my space yeah she's really relaxed yep. yeah completely now, but i don't want to go backwards for going forward so don't overdo mm. this uh you know i could go further than this now and really upset her um 
you know, but I have got a habit of going too far sometimes, so I might, <laughs> I might go in there. But yeah, so, so she's seeing this uh, out of this eye, not too bad. Um, I'm very conscious about eyes, you know, this eye, not too bad. And what I look for is watch the, watch the head. Um, she'll know we're watching her head, but I, I kind of look for when that head maybe drops a little bit or she looks away, it's not really a factor. Because sometimes people will shake things and they don't realise the horse is still alert with it, you know. Um, No, she looks quite bored. <laughs> yeah. No, you mean? Yes. Yeah, when you yes. Said that, yes, she did. Oh, two years went that way, and she yeah. was kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's scary. Really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, hey, a lot better than I thought. Yeah. You just brought me here to, for me to take. Didn't we away. have crisp packets last time? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. oh, no, that's Reno. Yeah, Reno crisp was great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. We, she has blesser. Nat's come in here and done. Masses with her. Wow. Um, but even. Yeah, just keep going past. Right, so what I'm doing, I'm offsetting. I'm offsetting that with movement and, and offsetting her mind so much from that to me. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Right? Okay, if you give me the flag now. Yeah. Just keep going up and down, I'm going to use the flag now. Okay. Do you want to say here? So in the middle of a spook, I'm getting control yeah. of these feet. Did you see that spot there? That's a look. Did you see that spot there? Did you see that little spot where she just came down? There. That's the spot. You want to come and hold here now? Am I going to walk? 
pass. Okay. You not hold that as you walk, don't you? Right, just rub on that. You're going to walk past? Yeah, I'm going to go past. Trouble is I humanise them and I worry about them and being yeah. unhappy and when they whinny as they're leaving it breaks mm. my heart. Oh. I, know. I can't support every animal forever. No, absolutely. Any better? Any better? Yeah. Alright. Give it a rub. <laughs> Amazing how many people with um, problems are drawn to the horses. Mm. They really mm. love coming to oh, ab the horses. Oh, absolutely. We go out to help people who, you know, have had um, mental health conditions, and the horses have just kept them going. Yeah. And especially through COVID and everything else. Yeah. You know, they, the horses. Without the horses, they said they probably wouldn't be here. No. Oh, sorry. I wasn't looking. I was looking at you. I'm feeling like. <laughs> When she goes to a home and settles and is used a lot, if somebody gets great leadership to her, which is what we do, she can be a, do you feel like she's going to be a cracker? I really do. And there's nothing but positive. I've just spoke to a gentleman going down there with two little... We saw you. Yeah. I said, you're the one with, you know, the rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's kind of positive. Yeah. I think there's a great future for this horse, I think. I think in the right hands. In the right be. hands. Yeah. I think that's in the In the key. right hands. Finding somebody who I would definitely, for the sake of it, when you're vets down here, just get her to, to scope your eyes. What's that? Daniel, this is the saddle that uh, Sylvia rode 3,000 miles in through Amer uh, what part through of America? To her and Indian Reservation in Arizona. Wow! I did it for sponsorship for two rescues. Oh, wow. Fantastic. What a great experience, though. Come on. It was. Yeah, we were very lucky. I don't know what you do, it. Oh, you don't know, you can't get it up there. Okay. <laughs> okay. I broke my finger and oh, oh, ouch. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to do. Your glasses are gone again, Sylvia. Right. She's a little bit nervy about having this saddle and that. I'm just all that up like that. Right? So. When you, when you put this on, can you see her back coming up a bit? Yeah? Can you see that yeah. or not? Yeah? When you put it on. So I would get her used to this. Loads. If I keep moving her, you know. Uh, I wouldn't be bashed at all. I'd like to be able to put that on with that, that little freeze that's going on, yeah? Um, so again, you could come up and spend... So, or at the stable, say, well, I'm going to do half an hour of this today, both sides. Because when you first put it on, she kind of froze. Did you feel it? Yeah. Well, that is only the sub uh, before that. So that's going to be worse. You don't want any tightness when you put this tack on. So obviously, there's been a lot of tack gone on this horse in the past. Uh, maybe all of the harnesses, the harnesses because it was a driven horse. Um, so now we, you know, I go to a lot of places and I have a lot of history given me. Sometimes I wish I didn't, because it makes me think of that. Uh, a lot of the time, if you've got a clean sheet and you, you deal with the horse you've got today, sometimes that's a better thing, but it's, uh, it is on my mind about what, you see that getting slightly better? Uh, you know, what could have happened? Could there have been an accident in a harness? Uh, but sometimes harnesses are put on politely, uh, so it could stem. So I like to get a good both sides. Um, okay, do you see the little jump? Mm -hmm. See the little tightness? Mm -hmm. um, so again, I'd like to get this. Her mouth is also tight. Yeah. Yeah. So this is something you could 
do a little bit. I know you don't get, because there's so many you look after. It's hard, like Silva says, to have the amount of time. Whoever has her, you know, wants to be someone probably who not And Sylvie said, obviously, that um, when she goes out, she goes out alone. It'd be lovely if she went out in company. In company. But you don't want somebody who's got 10 other horses. Yeah, you want somebody who's got maybe time. one or two. Uh, and with the time. And one's getting a bit older. Uh, 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 and they, they can spend a lot of time and love uh, 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 and desensitisation. Right, I'm happy with that. Can you see the difference there? Yeah. Yeah. So if you find a tightness like you did, don't go further because that's what's called, we start to think about stealing a ride. We're getting them ready to ride even though they weren't really comfortable. So um, I would definitely do loads of that. Right, if you want to pass me the... Uh, oh, uh, or you can, no, no, yeah, watch your back, you old. <laughs> um, what's those things on the front? Let's take them off. Let's... Right then, so let's see if that's any better. Uh, a little tightness, no one near as bad. But, but I would want to get it so that completely not bothered um, about it. So, no problem. Yeah, no problem. Can I just show you something here? Oh, Nat's just going to get ready. Oh. Right, Nat. Guys, when you put these away, this is a really good for people to... And I used to scoff at this and think, oh, don't, but since I've been really doing it the last 20 years, this, it makes such a difference. Right? You see how I've killed that behind? Yeah. Look. See how I've just took that behind? And then I've got about a few inches there, look. I hold, then that goes round and is like a western knot, which you all know about that. Yeah, you see how I've just done that? And that's how you stow it. Did you just see that how it went back? It looks easy than it is, but you have to practice it. Yeah, but look, that's stowed now, lovely, isn't it? But look at the benefit, right? If I take the, the girth, look, right? And then I just undo the western knot, you see? If I come through that, now it's ready to just come through. So if you, little things like that, stowing of your stuff is great. They're kind of lovely when you get used to them, but yeah. when you give them to somebody that um, doesn't, uh, hasn't used them, they're kind of weird for people, aren't they? Uh? So when we got to, you couldn't do that. You couldn't be Oh, you couldn't better. Wow. Well, look at this. That's what I'm saying. I'm feeling it was a there's, so much job, wasn't it? there's so much improvement going on here, isn't there? Okay. So. Uh, that's right. Now, what I would say to you is that's going to be right. Can I just show you? That's too tight, and there's a reason for it. You see, when you do this up, I can't get my finger in there. So, what, what will happen is if she decides to give give to you in softness as this chin comes down it will it will it will choke her you see you know in the future maybe it can go down one but because you haven't got a strap underneath the bit I know it should have. this could come through so it's something worth I mean we've got them we'll send you one we have the made little on little poppers I haven't got any yet, Anne. I didn't bring any. No. I'll send you. Oh, we've got one with a shoe fly on it. I'm yeah. not sure even that's so bad. Yeah. Do you think it is? Uh, not the one that we use normally to ride. Oh, isn't it? Oh. Well, you know, this will do. This will do for today. It, 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 there is about three wrinkles there, so it is kind of pushing up on her. So I would. You can't drop it down any more than that now because you've got no strap on there, and if it's too loose, it will come through. So, but it's it's worth loosening these things up for tight horses. It, it has the adverse effect it's actually right what i would do then that you would walk around with your horse first yeah just make sure everything's okay then we'll check the girth again okay right so I, have you been flexing with the bit yeah so you can stand there and flex do you want me to do it easy? right so look so we want to run down and we want to flex oh lovely that's good. So we do that, both sides. All right, so run down. Now, you see the ear, look. Come on. 
There. Right. Try and get the E. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Really nice and soft. Didn't expect that for a second. Um, now, the other thing is, if your horse is getting a bit difficult, you want to, rather than try and push them through it, which sometimes goes a bit Yankee Doodle Dandy, doesn't it? I'll put a horse to work with something that's good. So if if she didn't want to go over there, I can't, I can't force you. So we'll work on something here. So I might do lots of flexing, lots of disengaging the hindquarters, lots of, or, you know, anything that will help in the long run, never just to get even, and then offer again. So it, you've got to make it her idea to go where you want. Sometimes I force in the issue, it kind of, um, some horses it kind of works to firm up a little bit. You kind of got to work out which horse you got. So the other thing then is, look, you, I want this to mean, this behind the girth to mean disengage hind quarters, all right? So I'm going to bump back here and I'm going to keep bumping. She has no idea about this. There. And then I'm going to rubber to a stop. I'm going to rubber to a stop and wait till she gives. Did you see that? Right? Did you, did you see what I've just done? So I'm going to give her two seconds because by us getting control of the hind end, that's when we do this, she loses her power. So if she gets funny and wants to rear, wants to do these horses. If we can control that hind end, which just take a little bit of practice. Have you ever done that? Either? You've been disengaging. Well, I'll watch that in a bit then, yeah? That's good if you've been doing it. So there's the flex. Bumper over at the back. Mm. They're obsessed with the new food. Never that last foot. There. Now eventually you won't be touching her here, you'll be touching her here. But it's hard to to get it all from this point. So flex. Bump her over, that's better already. Rub it to a stop. And that's the run rain. One rain. Stop! <laughs> Right, this side, come on, there, right, there's the flex, I'm going to bump her over, put behind the girth, a bit more, and then rubber to a stop, last foot stops, lovely, tell her how good she is, she's very trainable, isn't she, right, and then bump her over, Come on. Come on. The longer this takes, the better. Because it means more there. Rubber to a stop. I'm going to wait till that goes just slightly better than that. Right. Rubber to a stop. Awesome. Okay. Right then, so how do you get up there then? You're the fellow that rides, this one? Yeah. What's it feel like letting someone else ride? It's your horse, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Only on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's good. How is those? How are those? They're like too long for you. That's fine, this one is too long. Okay. Now, this mount with quality. Yeah. Do it properly, just to turn in. Get off nicely. Oh, she's oh. Yeah, English. Okay. I can do it. Well, you know, you just do it with quality, nice. Good, now rub on the horse. Yeah, lovely. Okay. You taught this horse well to stand, mate? Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it might not have been you then. <laughs> right, so this needs to go up, yeah? So women should be better trainers than men because this is what our marriage is like. You give them an idea and then you do something else and then they come the up with the idea is... and you tell them how wonderful they are. <laughs> yeah. The other thing yeah. is... See, it's exactly the same for horse. It didn't want to go forwards, go and do something else. What you need to be aware of here. <laughs> do you ride English or the Western side? English. English. Oh, English, sorry. English. Uh, right. This is something that's really quite important to me. You have to check that your leg, that your foot will not go through like this. Because the way this horse can spook quick, 
if that happens, you're dragged. <laughs> you, you better be good with God that day, because she could literally kill you and not know it, all right? Does that make sense what I just said? You cannot have, that's why us cowboys have heels. And we always make sure we cannot get our foot through because it's that bad. So when you get up there now, if you can get it through, we're gonna have to get, you're gonna have to borrow those boots off Tanya or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's, not sense, lot, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of difference in the heel. You kill with it, your foot goes through because this horse can move a bit quick. And then, uh, so yeah, all right, let me get. Little rub, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, right, now if this goes through, right, you're just in, aren't you? You're just okay, but be aware of that, okay? I was uh, gonna say, there's not a lot of difference between that heel and this no, heel Well, at you all. have to be, that's quite a big stirrup you've got on there, actually. Quite a, a well, I've seen it where people, that's why breakaways, they're making now a lot of breakaway Western ones, where, if you got dragged, they'll come away like an English one. Because, uh, no, I'll do that, I'll do that one. So, okay, so everything feels good there. So, do you want to, while we're here, do a flex both sides for us? So you'll lift up, reach down, and then put your hand on the neck as you, as you, no legs, and hold until the last foot stops. Trying to release the other one. Hold, 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 hold till the last foot stops there. Now you did have this quite tight, so you don't want you want to make sure that that's not tight. Um, now then you have a little period in between, and then you do it again. So you reach down. Same way. Yeah, same way. Get that good, and then down on the neck with the hand. Yeah, and then to your hip. Good, good. Now that has to be so reliable that you can at any time just run your hand down and get a flex without those moving. All right, this side, down, run your hand down, down a bit further, you're going to be about here, about here. Okay, down on the neck and into your hip. That's the hip there, lovely. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> you have a practice at that. Yeah, it's a good thing to do, it's really good. Because that's the prerequisite to a one rein stop or a disengagement which stops rearing, buckling and because they can't buck if they can't go up to the back. But we do a lot of high quarters in time. Oh, that's the driver you use, is it usually? No, oh. Right, come on. Uh, okay. So, then you're going to hold one, and then whichever one you decide, and you're going to hold it on your hip, you're going to take your hand off the neck, which is to stay still. Okay. Take your hand off the neck, and I want you to get a disengagement. Yeah, and then you still hold it, till you, once you've got your disengagement, you then, Hold until the foot stops again. Okay, do I use my leg? Yes, behind the gun, right behind the gun. Okay. Right, get a flex first, hand on the neck to say stop. Go on, and then hold it, hold it. Right, hand off the neck, put this back. And up, yeah, right back and bump that over. Bump, 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 keep bumping. Bump, 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 bump. There, now, just wait to, no, you don't let go. Wait till the foot to stop. Wait till the foot to stop, yes. And then let go, give a rub. You know, you know all of this, I think this is, right, uh, right. You have to practice this and get it fluent because the more in control of her feet you are, yeah. the less she will swoop because she'll feel happy that you're leading her okay. from her back, yeah. not just the, so again, get your flex on your hip, then take your hand off, hold your hand there and bump that over. Look down at it, look down at it. Go on, bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. There, now just hold and wait for the last foot to stop. Hold and wait. Hold and wait. Hold and wait. Hold and wait. No leg. Yes. Let's go. Right. You could practice this and get this better than this. Now I've showed you how to do it. You do it once that's good at a standstill. And you are fluent in your hands and your legs. Then you do it at a walk. So your walk round then you'll reach down and you'll get a stop with one rein. Yes. And occasionally you'll stop with one rein and then knock the gear, knock, knock the hinds out. Uh, do you want to try one as a walk for me? You can choose which side. Okay. I'm going to stand over there because I don't want any spooking while I'm here. Then. So you just walk around. Walk around. Walk around. 
around here. Walk around, that's it. Come around this way. In front of me, yeah? And then when you're ready, I want you to do a one rain stop. With grace and quality, take your time with it. Yeah, then down on the neck, the other one. And on the neck, no leg. Beautiful. There's a little one rain stop, and then go the other way. You can't overdo those with a nervous horse like this one. Lots of them. Lots of one rain stops. And then you'll reach down, hand on the neck, your left hand on the neck, left hand on the neck, and then no legs. Lovely. Good timing. How do you feel with that? These little things I'm showing you, if you get them good, they will change a lot of things. But the important one is those hind quarters to be able to disengage them. Okay? So, okay, just, just rock. You've got to be careful because size in here. So just have a little walk around and do a few one rain stops and just show me, just turn left and right. Let's see how you, how you do. Look where you're going. Try and lift your inside brain a little bit when you turn. You lift, you lift. And put the outside leg behind the girth and look where you're going. Lift the rein, lift up and out. Yes, now up and out the other way, look the other way. Up and out, go on, bump, 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 bump with them legs. Lovely. All right, and then when you're ready, do a nice one rein stop. Bring your hand down, hand on the neck, and no leg, and what, oh, look at that. How do you feel? Have you been doing all those things or have I showing you some things now? Well, you are definitely showing Yeah, because the source will benefit from all of this stuff. Unfortunately, I, I might have to come back and do a riding lesson because it's too dangerous in here. In that corner there, it's she really... Does that one, she hasn't done that one stop, has she? She's awesome, this horse. She is a very quick learner. She is going to really... We've got a, I think the little bit I've just done has made her listen more, okay? Yeah. Do you feel that? Mm. Do you feel that? Mm. Inside, and now she's starting to listen to stuff. The you stuff going... more reactive to my legs the other day. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I need to come back and do a riding lesson with you when this is safe, all right? I'll get you try it now. I'll, I'll, I'll probably benefit if I ride her for about oh, look at the kite. 20 minutes, right? I'll do some... Um, Get this disengaging there really well. Oh, I can't see. I'll it. do some stuff on her, right? Uh, and then. And we'll get a. Uh, what is that? I'll bring one. Don't worry. I'll bring the rescue centre yeah. one, okay? Yeah. We have them made. Um, wow. Rather than. Look, rather Sorry, than that go backwards, I, I think we've kind. done <laughs> just a little start here that could be good. If we can arrange in the next couple of weeks, yeah. when it's a nice day and it's nice, I'll come. We'll do some groundwork for half an hour. <sighs> We'll do some, and then I'll ride the horse, and then I'll get you to do some riding, then we'll go out, yeah. but it's safe, and we'll try and see if there's a couple of things where we do a couple of them stops out there. And that. Yeah. How's that feel to you? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. That's I think fun. you're doing really Thank well. Thank you. Thank you. And you're, considering you haven't done many of them one round stops, you've got, do you see the importance of touching the neck and things like that? Mm -hmm. You've got to coordinate it. It took me ages. Yeah, Once you coordinate it, it becomes, the horse starts spooking, you're down. You, because you've got your coordination right. You're, you're riding a bit long there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. my saddle will probably suit better. Because it's a bit long and it's probably yeah. um, You probably have them long because the long sure rides. Right, yeah. <laughs> but I think you would be better shorter. When you do long distance rides, you go them longer if you have that neck. It would help, doesn't it? But for this kind of thing, you want a bit of. Yeah. You have it. Yeah. Uh, now get her attention with you. So you pull. There. You see how easy this is. Be aware of the whole horse. She, you were losing her then. Yeah. Get her back. If she goes to walk off with unrequested forward motion, you don't pull with two rounds. You practice your one rein stop. Because all that will do will mean she realises she can blow through the bit with her feet forward. Because it's hard to stop a horse once they start to do that forward. And all this does is produce a hard mouth horse disconnected to its feet. So you appreciate when she goes forward, you think, yes! And do a lovely one rein stop. So there's benefit in everything that goes wrong, yeah. hopefully. Sometimes it doesn't work out. All right, I think with this situation now, Thank you. I think we'll, we'll no do a little video of that, and then I'll come back and we'll do a riding video. Okay. Okay.
Is that how you feel, all right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, right, with quality then. Get off now. I, I, I always say with quality, because we've got the sperm cells up all the time. That's brilliant. Lovely. That's really good. No too much patting. Nice. Yeah, look at her lip, man. I'm going to play them all. Really <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, oh, you right? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, so we'll shoot then. You're very welcome. You want, um, oh, we want to see the pop. Yeah, can I show you the pop? Yes. Are you sure now? Yeah, taking it off. Yeah, let me take that off you then. Ah, oh, I sir. So, what's happened over the COVID is that... Um, we just have got rid of dogs that are pregnant because oh. they can't sell their puppies, so we've had multiple... Hello, sweetheart. And, and all these lovely puppies need and new homes. Yeah. yeah, these little dummies. Oh, hello, sweethearts. Are you looking for lovely homes too? I just saw something blind. It's very clever, but oh. I, think, I don't think it see, can't see where we are. Yep. Um, oh. This one's got a great two heart murmur. This one's got um, an overshot jaw. Hello. 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 All these lovely dogs looking for new homes. You get very fond of them. Yeah. The horses, especially so, because it's harder for a horse to settle in a new home than a dog yeah. um, on the whole. Most of our dogs haven't come from individually loving homes and so it's it's a, a journey for them but the horses they 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 love their friends that yeah. they're with. If yeah. I could home them in pairs I really oh. would because um, Fire loves Karma. She's yeah. she loves that little mare yeah. that she's with. Oh. But it's hard enough finding good home for one yeah, horse, for one, yeah. let alone two. Yeah. Yeah. been Booked Hello, last minute they didn't want to. Oh no! So his friends have got homes and he hasn't. Oh no! And he's all got a puppy. Hello, sweetie. Oh, oh. And taking them for the moment. Um, <laughs> we was at the um, we was at the uh, the demo the other day, weren't we, Tan? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> Tanya looks over. They're all lined up. We're having dogs. I said, oh. I said, crack yes. on. Yeah. <laughs> Save me a job. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You crack on. Right. What a lovely, beautiful horse that was. I know, I know. And I'm pretty sure that Sylvia wanted me to have the horse back. She did. I just can't do it, Tanya. I can't do it. I need to get a replacement for Nita. Nita. And, and I can't take it. And you know horse. what you want in your mind. Yeah. Adoption. Yeah. I just had a good chat with Nat, Natalie then. Uh, she's a really, really interested in horsemanship. And you know what, guys? When you get that that kind of want, yeah. and Natalie reads all the books. and Came to uh, the ranch days. Asked me about other yeah. horsemen. Yeah. Came to a ranch day, yeah. uh, at one of our ranch days. And there's no stop, I've just said to her, there'd be no stopping her now. No. No one will be able to stop her learning that. She's on that quest. So watch out for Natalie in years to come. Yeah. Uh, uh, Natalie just said there was a huge, huge improvement in that horse while I was there. Oh, that's which, which I was really pleased that it's hard to judge, you know, uh, but Natalie's just been saying that she can't believe the difference. Fantastic. So if I go back and do a riding session, um, you know, hopefully then. But it needs, it needs, wherever the, wherever, um, the horse is going to end up. Fire, fire its name. Next, next. Wherever fire no, no. is going to end up needs no, no. to happen, I think, sooner or later because it's going to get too into being there and too settled and then it's more unsettled. Yeah. So let's just hope, mate. Right? Where well, we got going now, Tanya? We're going for a Toby Carvery. Yeah, awesome car Carvery. And it's a festive one. So it's a Christmassy one. It'll have. Uh, it's beginning to, to look, look a lot like, like Christmas. Christmas. So we're going to have that now. Yep. And go back to our own horses, Tan. Make sure they're all all right. Yes. All right. Toby! Look at that. There's something upstairs. Oh. Toby Carvery. What's the bugger? Festive free course. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that, guys. Uh, look at that. <laughs> That's it. 
Let's have a good eat. I've learnt it, Tanya. Of course you have. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. It is a long video, there's a lot in it. Uh, and I hope you just maybe get a few uh, tips from it. Uh, it helped you in some way, or you just enjoyed seeing the rescue centre and, and the horses and dogs and things. But yeah, great video. Now, I will tell you something, it's about minus six again today. We've got a cold snap coming. Uh, apparently we're gonna have it for about 10 days. Uh, and it's about minus six at the moment. So, I mean, I did take the mickey out of these coats. Right, uh, Charlotte's bought me this for Christmas, uh, an early Christmas present. The Equidry coat with all the different zips in and everything. They're like a big tent, really. Uh, you wear in a tent, but I, I took the mickey out of everybody with them. But I've got to tell you, it's the go-to coat now. <laughs> I have it on all the time, just like everyone else does. Um, I used it this morning early, just stick it on over everything. Uh, and I, and it's been, like I say, it, 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 we're not sponsored by them, but they are. They're a good club to be in. It's like everyone, everyone uh, who, who wear the, wears these goes, oh, oh yeah, you doing what colour have you got and all that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's getting hot in here. So take that for you. <laughs> so back to the to the video, guys, to the rescue centre. If anyone is interested in helping, you know, maybe maybe uh, adopting a dog. Uh, they've got all sorts of animals there actually, but. They've got quite a few horses there. Now you've got Reno there, who is an absolute gentle giant. Uh, you know, if you think of the pain he was in and he was still allowing people to ride him, Sylvia doesn't want to say outright, yes, he'll be fine for someone to ride, have a riding career. Um, but she's really optimistic and so are the vets. So if you do adopt him, you know, the chances are that he'll come good and he'll pack someone around. He might not be jumping and and doing top dressage stuff like that, but he'll have a job to do and he'll pack someone around and he's a beautiful big horse, absolutely beautiful. And then you've got Fire. Um, Fire has not had a good start in life. She's only six, five or six, but I felt that she was coming on with a bit more leadership, um, that she was coming on really well uh, in the time I was there and starting to not be so spooky, not be so, and uh, not have violent spooks like that. I didn't see her weave once. Now, it's a testament to the, the Many Tears Rescue uh, and Nat and, you know, people helping, how very quickly the horse is starting to settle and not, not weave bad. I mean, apparently it's the worst weaver um, that they've ever seen and the transport company. So I would say that, that, that Fire's got a future and it would be a great horse for someone and what a pretty horse. So, yeah, if, if you... If you feel like you you'd want you want to be part of their lives or the other horse they've got there, give Sylvia a, a call, give her a message, pop down there. When we were there, loads of people were coming and going. Uh, the car park was full of people, you know, adopting and so yeah, I'll, I'll get going now. Um, if you're interested in getting any of that, the bits I use with the special ropes with the special splices and my unique size uh, of rope, the halters, the flags, all the stuff I use. It's all on a link on here, Shopify, and Tanya will get them out to you as quickly as possible. And don't forget the safety ties. They're, they're the number one for us, really. Um, so that's about it. So I'll uh, say to our now, and uh, as usual, happy trails. I'm not gonna beg, but I'm not into begging people to like, share, and all that sort of thing. I always mention it, because Tanya says, oh, don't forget, don't forget. But with this one, guys, really share it for, for, for the Rescue Center, because it's a genuine one and they do so well, and they all work so hard. So if you can share, that'd be great uh, for, for that place and Sylvia. And, you know, if you can if you can like and comment, that'll help us as well. So I hope you got something from it again. Happy trails and see you soon again.